large scale issues in the administrative system that huge kind of unemployment huge kind of poverty was existing hello everyone welcome to plutus ias myself vivek raj and uh, in the continuation of public administration pyq series i have some more questions uh, with me today to talk about so we will understand how exactly we can deal with the questions okay so the first question that we have is a crisis of credibility a crisis of credibility in the administrative system can be overcome only by only is important only by reinventing the government comment right so <clears throat> this question is in front of us if you are looking into this question then you will be uh, noting here that there are two words that is crisis of credibility and it can be overcome only by reinventing the government so if you are remembering then definitely you will be able to uh, get the idea that this question is related to the reinventing government given by the osborne and gabler and in what context in which context they given that principle the reinventing government so we have the two uh, scholars that is osborne osborne and gabler so these two people have given a principle called reinventing government reinventing government right so this has been given by osborne and the gabler so definitely since the question is about that the crisis of credibility has uh, can be overcome only by reinventing the government okay so definitely this question is talking about some background that is crisis of credibility so we need to we should have idea about that what is that what do we meant by this crisis of credibility and then can be overcome only by reinventing the government so we will be able to we should able to you know explain uh, how exactly reinvent reinvention of government will be helping in overcoming the uh, the crisis of credibility okay so now let's understand how exactly we will be framing this question so if we are talking about basically i'll write the approach here so the approach will be something like approach so under this approach if we are talking about the introduction intro so aap intro mein yahan pe kya likhenge that you will be providing the background of crisis of credibility okay the uh, so brief brief briefly about about crisis of this is as crisis of credibility so what exactly uh, the scenario was so actually if we are looking into the decades of 1980s and the 1990s then we will be witnessing that uh, there were large scale issues in the administrative system that huge kind of unemployment huge kind of poverty was existing and if we are particularly talking about then it was the lpg reform that is liberalization globalization and privatization and we can say the lpg induced changes that has been brought about by the lpg so in the new kind of circumstances it was really important that our administration should be sound our administration should be in a position to take care of the new changes in the society new changes in the governmental or the administrative system that has been added right so you will be briefly talking about the crisis of credibility meaning that you can start that in the year uh, in the decade of 1980s and the 1990s with the coming up of lpg and before that also there were some crisis of credibility that the existing public administration particularly if we can say the new public administration came in 1970 right so the existing public administration was not in a position to deal with the new challenges that were emerging in the society so 
and also the issues added the changes added by the uh, what do you call you know this uh, ch ch challenges added by the lpg right so that was the crisis of credibility at that time uh, at that point of time public administration was facing so many challenges right because of as i mentioned poverty unemployment and because of these so many challenges we came up with the npm npm concept uh, came into picture that is new public management and that new public management tried to bring about the managerial principles the market principles into the administration so that administration will be able to take care of the existing issues okay and what were they those kind of uh, managerial principles which we tried to come up <coughs> through the npm so those principles were basically based on value for money they were based on the treating citizens as customer that now the time has changed and if we really want to bring about the efficiency and effectiveness in the administration we need to treat citizen like the customer okay so in that context only the reinventing government was brought about by the osborne and the gabler right so in the introduction you will be talking about this uh, story that what was going on in the decades of 1980s and 1990s and which for in which context you know the npm and all those emerges right so crisis of credibility that the existing public administration was not able to give answer to the question okay then you will be highlighting about in the body part in the body part you will be highlighting about you know the can be overcome by the so how under this particular heading uh, you can write your answer how the reinventing reinventing government will help so in the body part you can start with this heading that is how exactly reinventing government will help then if you will be deep, uh, you know uh, understanding the reinventing government given by the osborne and the gabler so they have you know given the reinventing government which is having 10 types of government we can say so first one is catalytic government catalytic government and then we have the anticipatory government anticipatory government then we have the citizen centric government citizen centric government then we have the anticipate anticipatory we done with uh, then with that then we have the <coughs> yeah entrepreneurial government entrepreneurial entrepreneurial government and so on okay so aapko pure 10 nahi likhne hai because these doubt used to have in the student mind so uh, you can write some of them okay so how reinventing government will have so here the first one first idea is being given that catalytic government can help in in overcoming the crisis of credibility so what they mention in the catalytic government that government will be walking like a catalyst and government will be you know just giving the walking as a catalyst that giving some spark to the process and not completely doing that so catalytic government okay just working like a catalyst catalyst ka kaam hota hai to just give the start rest of the things will be done by other players okay then anticipatory government very important for the disaster management kind of thing that or the economic depressions are coming so our government should be that kind of government which is actually taking the steps prior to you know the prior to the disasters are taking place it should not be that you are just reactive but you should be proactive okay so anticipatory government is something that was favored by the you know osborne and the gabler theek hai to aap ye bol sakte hain ki agar anticipatory government hogi so we will be able to overcome the crisis of credibility which the administration started facing in the 8 1980s 1990s especially after coming up of lpg 
तो आपकी बॉडी में ये हेडिंग है एंड आप ये लिख रहे हैं देन सिटीजन सेंट्रिक सो इट विल बी सिटीजन सेंट्रिक लाइक इज द गवर्नमेंट विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग सर्विसेस एज पर द नीड ऑफ द पीपल देन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव द ऑन्टरप्रीनियल गवर्नमेंट सो ऑन्टरप्रीनियल गवर्नमेंट में लाइक इट विल बी जस्ट लाइक वॉकिंग वॉकिंग लाइक ए ऑन्टरप्रीनियरशिप और एनी इंटरप्राइज वॉक दैट वैल्यू फॉर मनी ट्रीटिंग पीपल फेयरली एज एज मच वैल्यू दैट दे यू नो दे आर गिविंग सो वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग सर्विसेज एंड सो ऑन तो ऐसे आप जितने भी लिख सकते हैं टेन प्रिंसिपल सजेस्टेड बाई टेन टाइप्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सजेस्टेड बाई ऑस बॉन एंड गैबलर वो आप लिख देंगे देन सिंस द क्वेश्चन इज हैविंग दिस टेल वर्ड दैट इज कॉमेंट तो यहां पर बॉडी हो गया देन यू कैन राइट द कॉन्क्लूजन ओके एंड इन दिस कॉन्क्लूजन द कॉन्क्लूजन दैट यू कैन राइट इज दैट यू कैन कॉन्क्लूड लाइक ऑल दो द री इन्वेंटिंग गवर्नमेंट इज हैविंग पोटेंशियल टू ओवरकम द क्राइसिस ऑफ क्रेडिबिलिटी बिकॉज ऑफ so so reasons that catalytic government anticipatory government that you explained in the previous paragraphs and then you will say but so although it is having the potential however any system every system we can say is having you know a special condition the uniqueness especially when it comes to the public organizations so for those kind of organization we cannot certainly say that this kind of thing will be working so crisis of credibility So, हम कंप्लीटली नहीं वहां पे बोलेंगे दैट दिस विल बी अल्टीमेटली यू नो रिमूविंग ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सिस्टम बट यू विल बी सेइंग हाउ एवर देर आर सम देर में कैन बी सम चैलेंजेस एंड दे नीड टू बी फिक्स्ड एंड इफ वी आर डूइंग दैट देन वी कैन एक्चुअली ओवरकम द इशू ऑफ क्राइसिस ऑफ क्रेडिबिलिटी ठीक है सो कंक्लूजन में ही आप अदर साइड ऑफ द स्टोरी के बारे में भी एक दो लाइन लिख देंगे That will be sufficient और आपको कोई evidences देने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है because टेन marker है and if you are having the counter argument that shows you are understanding the question that is sufficient okay so this is our first question now we will talk about the another question right so here we have the question that is the field of public administration is a field of business field of public administration is a field of business this has been mentioned by woodrow wilson first of all we should be aware of woodrow wilson okay now we need to recall we need to understand in what context woodrow wilson mentioned that field of public administration is a field of business actually when woodrow wilson came up with the essay that is study of administration study of administration was name of essay and it came in 1887 okay in this woodrow wilson came up with some arguments and one prominent argument was the politico administration dichotomy politico admin dichotomy okay so what was that in the politico admin dichotomy he was trying to mention that the political questions the political problems are different from the administrative questions the administrative problems are different from the problems of uh, the politics okay so he emphasized that even if we are having the political science then also there is need for the public administration to be studied separately so this is considered as the formal beginning of public administration okay so this is one argument and when he bent, went beyond this he mentioned that the public administration the field of public administration is similar to that of business okay similar to that of business what exactly he meant by that he just related the things that uh, how exactly the business works so business works any business works through the three amps okay that is man machine and method so just the thing i am adding so woodrow wilson mentioned that for example any business is there so for business to run there should be office place there should be a structure there should be people to work in the office and there should be method to achieve the goals okay if we are having all these things then only a particular business will be running 
and business will be also having the customers to serve the process to follow the men to be salaried and a structure to be you know followed so jo business mein ho raha hai same kind of things we are having in case of public administration public administration government kaise operate karti hai government is also having you know the people at place and people at place right and those people are working for certain goals right so this is what woodrow wilson is relating that public administration be like government ka koi office hoga they are also like the business right so in this context this question has been asked field of public administration is a field of business now we will see how exactly we can frame the model answer frame the answer to this particular question theek hai ab aap samajh chuke hain woodrow wilson ke views se ye question uthaya gaya hai directly so here if we are talking about the introduction so in the introduction you will explain the statement explain statement naming wilson naming wilson आप इसको एक्सप्लेन करेंगे एंड वहां पे हाईलाइट करेंगे दैट इट हैज बीन हाईलाइटेड बाय द विल्सन ओके क्या एक्सप्लेन करेंगे व्हाट एग्जैक्टली यू विल राइट सो यू विल राइट दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू द दिस वुड्रो विल्सन द फील्ड ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज लाइक बिजनेस बिकॉज ही वाज ऑफ द व्यू दैट द पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग द you know path of businesses the way businesses are running as a hamara public administration bhi run karta hai and, and going forward you know you can see that aage chal ke hamare paas luther gulek and the linden erwick came and they provided the concept of post scop there is planning organizing staffing directing controlling directing and all right so definitely the managerial principles we are in uh, adding into the public administration so can we say that ki this this view was good only बिकॉज बिजनेस के जो प्रिंसिपल्स हैं जो मैनेज यू नो आस्पेक्ट हैं वी आर एम्प्लॉइंग दो प्रिंसिपल इन द पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू ब्रिंग अबाउट द एफिशियंसी तो ठीक ही बोल रहे हैं सो आप एक्सप्लेन करेंगे स्टेटमेंट को दैट विल्सन वॉज ऑफ द व्यू दैट जो बिजनेस है द वे बिजनेस आर रनिंग द पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विल ऑल्सो बी रनिंग लाइक दैट ओके एंड देन यू विल बी राइट एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑन द सेम सो ठीक है इंट्रोडक्शन आप लिखेंगे देन बेसिकली यहां पे हेडिंग कुछ नहीं होगी बिकॉज द स्मॉल क्वेश्चन एंड पार्ट आर नॉट देयर सो आफ्टर टू थ्री लाइन इंट्रोडक्शन इन दस्ट पैराग्राफ यू विल बी राइटिंग अबाउट दैट सिंस द बिजनेस आर ऑल्सो हैविंग गोल्स टू अचीव दे आर ऑल्सो हैविंग द एच आर डिपार्टमेंट टू टेक केयर ऑफ द पीपल सो गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी ऑल्सो हैविंग यू नो ग्रीवांस रेड्रेसल मैकेजम सेल्स एंड दे आर ऑल्सो हैविंग द सेल्स दे आर ऑल्सो हैविंग द you know purchase department and all aap usko explain karenge and then in conclusion ah uh, yeah so conclusion mein aap fir ek alag story likhenge because here we have the explain so what you will write that although mostly the field of public administration is similar with that of the businesses right this is you established introduction mein aapne ye likh diya body mein body part mein you are further explaining the statement further explaining the statement with elaboration elaboration theek hai so this is what you are doing now conclusion mein aap kya kar rahe hain conclusion mein what you are doing that although the field of public administration is similar to that of businesses but there are differences also because here moral values will be there and the inefficiency will be there in the public offices because of some reason delays will be there decision making will be delayed all these things will be existing because there is a clear cut difference between the public administration and the business what is that the public administration is about welfare of the people and the business is about profit so that conclusion you will write that although there are similarities 
बट वहां पे डिफरेंस भी है गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का अल्टीमेट मकसद है लोगों का भला करना द वेलफेयर ऑफ द पीपल इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेदर दे आर हैविंग द प्रॉफिट और नॉट बट द प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का एक ही मकसद होगा टू ब्रिंग अबाउट द प्रॉफिट तो उसके साथ आप कंक्लूड कर देंगे एंड दैट विल बी द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी राइट सो आई होप दैट दिस डिस्कशन हैज प्रोवाइडेड यू गुड इनसाइट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द टू क्वेश्चंस हाउ एग्जैक्टली यू विल बी डीलिंग इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो स्टे ट्यून विद दिस चैनल गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वी विल बी कमिंग अप विद सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज टू टॉक अबाउट वेरियस क्वेश्चन थैंक यू